Hello folks, welcome to the channel. This is a very, very exciting announcement today. Um, it caught me off guard actually because I got an email uh, about a week ago uh, with an invite to a press briefing for a brand new take on the HP Reverb G2 that is coming this fall. Now, as I say, this is pretty substantial news and you can see here from these screenshots or photos, shall I say, uh, which I got sent uh, from HP. So these are official photos, guys, uh, of this headset. This is what they're calling the HP Omniset Edition. Now, what that means primarily is that this is aimed for the professional and commercial market. So be it the US Air Force, which will be using this headset to train their pilots, believe it or not, as well as the engineering and work-based safety training and soft skills training. That sort of thing, you know, medical training. So a bit like uh, when they released the Reverb G1, there was a professional version and a standard version. The, the gap, <laughs> trust me, with this headset is huge because, okay, are you sitting down, guys? Because the, the feature set of this new headset is mind-blowing. It's what we've always wanted. This headset, as you can see here from the front image there, has got a funny little thing at the bottom. That is the eye tracking and facial recognition and facial expression sensor. That's right, guys. This has a full suite of biometric sensors that include a heart rate sensor. It has foveated rendering. That's the big one. We've wanted that for many, many years. Although I think most graphics cards, particularly the 20 30, and 30 series cards, will be able to cope with the 2160 by 2160 resolution, which remains the same, guys. So that's the important thing as well. These, this is not a resolution a jump for this particular professional model. It's still the same, as is the controllers. They're still the same as well. So really, it's about the innards that are different with this particular headset. So we've got, as I say, favorited rendering, uh, eye tracking, heart rate sensor, and cognitive sensors that measure your stress levels and brain activity, which is used to assess particularly in the commercial market and obviously for flight training, whether you are sort of at your optimum level of cognition and maybe even a bit beyond. So that sort of thing is actually quite remarkable to be able to uh, sort of, you know, really measure those really important details. So also along the lines of upgrades, the eagle eyed viewer will notice that the head strap looks a bit different. And in fact, it has a ratchet style system now as you can see here. Um, I, it's a shame really that they haven't uh, included this with the standard uh, G2 and even worse <laughs> than that, unfortunately, it's not gonna be available as an upgrade, which I think is a bit bizarre to be honest. I'm sure they could have easily have added that into the store uh, for anyone who wanted that little extra bit of comfort and that support on the back of the head. But I do think that the G2 standard uh, will be you know comfortable enough anyway to be honest it's much more uh, it looks sumptuous with its padding as it is but uh, yeah it's just one of those little upgrades I wish that they would have carried over but I mean guys did you see this coming I certainly didn't and I'm kind of torn really I'm excited about it but I'm also frustrated that we don't have a headset like this for the consumer market by now as PC VR headsets are in a bit of trouble at the moment with particularly with the uh, advent of the quest 2 which by the way i'm not a fan of at all especially with the old facebook logging thing but that's a separate video for another time um but i think that the pc vr headset uh, sort of community shall i say needs a headset like this for the gaming sector and the simulation sector which is us guys uh, i really don't know how much this is going to be i did try and get a price out of them but they were very cagey about it so I've absolutely no idea, but I've got a feeling it's with all those biometric sensors and hardware uh, integrated within this uh, headset, which I'm presuming is going to make it heavier actually as well. But I do feel it's going to be a substantial amount. But, you know, if you're buying this headset and let's face it, 90% of us are buying this headset for that resolution and lens design. That's that remains the same. Nothing has changed. As far as uh, me getting a G2 for the channel, I'm struggling, guys. I must admit, um, I have asked HP for a headset to review. They did say that they should be able to 
uh, provide one, but that was a while ago, and since then I haven't heard anything. So I may actually be one of the last people <laughs> to uh, to actually review this headset, which is a shame that that's just the way it is. But I will say, guys, that if you do have a Reverb G1, um, you know how I feel about that headset. That hasn't changed at all, and I do feel that that is still an incredible VR headset and maybe you know hold fire a little bit see how the community take hold of this headset when it's released if you have a G1 you know check the DCS forums they, they're crazy about VR so I'd recommend checking the VR forums there um, and you know just see people's perceptions of it it is a it is a substantial upgrade to the G1 but how much so well I can't really tell you that for certain yet Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave you with the official video from HP that I got given. And, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Take care. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye for now.